Hello everybody, welcome back to Blazer Dragon Plays Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Waha! In the last episode we made our way to the Fortress of Schwank and beat the Thwomp to get into the Fortress of Schwank. <coughs> okay. So, now we gotta delve deep into the Fortress. And there might be a glitch here, I don't know. No, they did fix it! Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, there's a, bu uh, a reflection bug on this. It said they fixed it on the version of uh, Dolphin I'm using. They lied. Okay, never mind. It's just a nuisance. And here we have a badge box. Multi bounce. That'll come in handy a little bit later when I uh, actually get some decent badges going on to join up with it. Ah! Okay, new battle. We got a fuzzy. I used to be really good at uh, defending from these guys. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm like now with these. We'll soon find out. Okay. No, nope. damn it. Okay. Ah, uh, lag. Uh, uh. Bonk. Oh, well that went well. Ah, worked anyway. That was a really laggy battle. Hmm. I'm surprised this place isn't lagging given the really weird reflections. Oh god damn it. Okay, now there's three of them. Yeah, in this situation multi-bounce might be useful, but I'm, I'm not huge on using that badge this early yet. Okay, now let's see if I can do it. Got ya! Ah, a little bit too late. The trick is to get ready to press B after they do that little wiggle thing on your head. I'll see if I can show that momentarily. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to take him out just yet. This. That's the point you want to hit B. It's a very small window, but with a little bit of practice you get it. Hopefully I will like remember when excuse me to pull off all the counters. Now we got a sunstone. That actually looks kind of cool. The crazy reflections going on down there. <laughs> yeah, this is the latest version of Dolphin, so I'm, I thought they said they fixed the little reflection bug. Oh well, not huge much of a big deal. Uh, I don't feel like fighting these guys. I know I said I'm not huge on using items, but there's points where I just cannot be bothered to fight. Kind of like that. Easy. We. Now we have to go to the other side. Pretty simple stuff. Again, I don't know why this place is called the Fortress of Schwank, but. Uh, you know, this might be a relatively short part because I, I know exactly where I'm going to be cutting it. Oh, actually, no. There's there's a few stuff to do in the meantime, so it'll be relatively long. Uh, regardless of you know whereabouts this part ends up, uh, I won't bother with time. Uh, ah, damn you! There's uh, another thing I, I want to mention with part two. <laughs> yeah, I I do actually have a, a timer, but I keep forgetting to actually set it, and it's only until like halfway into recording that I actually realise I've forgotten it. I, I decided not to put it on for this part because I know exactly where I want to stop. Oh, for goodness sake, will I ever get a first strike on these guys? Uh, bonk, bonk. We're getting close to another level. Got ya. It is nice to t pull off the counters like quite early in the game because enemies don't have a lot of HP at all. But when you start getting later in, like get, you'll start seeing enemies with 15 or so hit points. Which might not sound like a lot, but you got to remember we're still like doing one point point of damage each attack. 
I am a failure! I wonder if it's possible to get through this entire game without taking damage, like just constantly using uh, the counters. Oh, that's, that's my mouse. Uh, I'm going to quickly shove that out of the way. <laughs> I, th I did hit hide mouse cursor uh, on fraps, but it might not work. Moonstone. Bonk. Okay. Same again. Fire flower. Burn them! You've just been schwonked! What's that even mean? I'll have to Google that later. Woo. Uh, I actually have the power to record two parts today. Um, depending on how long this is, uh, I might upload two parts in the same day. I, d I do like to get parts out at ASAP. Really? Okay. Now we have a gold fuzzy. Yeah, he won't let us out until we do something. Okay, we'll just treat this like any other fuzzy. Whoa! Whoa! And... Whoa! Whoa! I hate lag. Me off! Everyone. Ah! Well, this is problematic. Hmm. I know exactly how to block this. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you are better off just doing the standard A block for that. Ah. Yeah, that guy doesn't suck your HP, he just sort of head bumps you. Okay. Uh, not really much I can do here. I'm going to take care of the Fuzzy Horde first. I've never seen that before in like incredible slow motion. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, this is the standard A block. Because they only do one hit point of damage, I can just use that. Ah, nearly. Oh, two mushrooms. Uh, one more power smash should take care of the fuzzy horde. Slow motion flips! Whoa! Ah. Close. As I said before, that refills all of your HP, so that would have been quite nice. There we go. I know I remembered how to do that. So, uh, I want to get out of here. It's really lagging the game. Maybe it doesn't help that I'm also uploading something in the background. Huh. I have to look into that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should stop doing that. Oh, we gained another level. Just. Okay, now we really need some more flower points. Woohoo! Okay, flower points it is. Mine. Fifteen health, ten flower points, and six badge points. Scatter. Alright. Oh, there's the gold one. Hi. So now that we've got the two stones, we've really got to think of what we're going to do next. Well, if you remember back outside of Hooktail's castle, there were those weird pe pedestal things. 
Uh, I suppose better use this. Oh, I know! The heart is kind of a good giveaway. Ah, oh, the enemies have respawned. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fight all of these guys again. Um, I'll probably cut these battles out because you've already seen them all. So I'll meet you back at Peltburg. Alright, Tira. And we are back! That wasn't too hard. Alright, now that, as I said before, now that we got those stones, that badge might be nice to have. We should probably progress on. Uh, laggy, 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 save. Uh, -huh. uh let's actually check our badge situation here. Yeah, got four badge points and multi bounce. I will probably put my multi bounce on a bit later when the time needs it. Okay. Oh, hello. That's oh, you again. Hi there. Mm hmm. Well, I'm here now. Go for it. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh huh. Depends what it is. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds like our new party member. Hey, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> is that is that all you're gonna say to him, Mario? Yeah, come along. You know, I never hit nope, sorry. Maybe I should have given that, uh, g tried that for hilarity state. So now we have a new party member, Coops. He operates similarly to your hammer. He'll not negate what through one block of damage, and he can only attack the opponent in front. What makes a Coop so interesting, though, is he's... Mm, he's got an ability that is much better than... Uh, for a certain play style than Gumbella's, which is really awesome. Oh, and you can do that to help flip puzzles. It's quite a cool little idea, really. He has a, an ability that costs four flower points called Power Shell. It's actually really powerful, and I will be using it uh, a little bit. That's kind of why I wanted to try and get uh, a flower point upgrade before reaching uh, Hookdale's castle. So now we have Coops. Now you'll never see Gumbella again. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, I remember you. I think I stomped on you back in Super Mario Bros. 3. He's with Super Frickin' Mario! Well, you're stupid! You're not really helping the cause if you're just gonna call him a crybaby. You know that, don't you? Yeah. I'm... I'm boss. Ah! Ah! And then Mario and Coops died. Oh, you liar. You, uh, you gonna do something over there, pal? Well, since we got Coops, might as well show him off. Bonk! So that's one of the cool things you can do with Coops. And the best bit about him is, he can attack spiky enemies. There is one problem though, which the Paragumba might do. Any attacks that involve jumping on Coops will result in uh, a little bit of pain. Yeah. Yeah, like that. 
So he hasn't taken damage, but he has been knocked over. I guess you could say he operates like the Coopers I fought earlier. Just... With an additional attack, I guess. Oh, another close call badge. That was lucky. I'll actually be getting a party member that will help me get more badges and items, which will be very nice indeed. I'm just going to clean up with these battles, uh, and then I'll be able to get into Hooktail's castle. So it turns out this episode has gone on a little bit longer than I thought, so I probably won't bother uh, adding the boss of a doohickey at the end. The additional part. Which might be unfortunate, I don't know. It depends on how much you guys like hearing my annoying British voice. Oop, Fireflower, you have got to go. Seeing enemies with items is quite concerning, especially if it's something like a Fireflower. Like, they could originally do one damage that, that you could possibly block, or they could just straight up do three. Sometimes more, get, depending on what the item actually is. I know like that, it's like I could really turn the tide of battle if um, uh, if I actually brought items of my own, I just, I'm not huge on using them. Bonk. Boop. Oh, let's get more Coop's action going on here. And I actually know Coop's stylish move. Yeah! Coop's might be a crow baby, but damn he's got some moves. 40 star points already. Wow, we're really getting through these levels. I mean, granted, I had to backtrack back to Rogue, but... There is a little bit of backtracking in this game, but it's not, like, horrendous. Okay, let's just shove that in there. I could have sworn they were brighter. Huh, that's a thing. Hello? What could this say? Yeah, beneath the path to dread, Hookdale Castle, weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum. If ye are a Petalburg Cooper, huzzah, your hold ability maketh this choice snap. Huh. Did Hooktail actually write that? It doesn't even rhyme. Uh, and boop. Right, ready, Coops? Three, two, one, go! Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh dear. <laughs> what the heck happened to the pipe? Oh well. Onward to that rather sketchy looking Hooktail Castle. Quite small, isn't it? Christ, I can jump up to the second tower. Well, in we go. And there's a save block. Alright, so in the next part, I shall be making my way a little bit into Hooktail's castle. Uh, this has been quite a fun part, actually. I quite like this one. Anyway, Blazer Dragon, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, and I will talk to you later.